Good day, this is Mike Oldham with Lee Smith. I look forward to working with you on your next truck as you know. Want to take a walk around this International MV with an extended cab, sleeper bunk, and 26 foot box, 103 inch tall, 102 inch wide, tuck away lift gate. This truck features a 260 horsepower Cummins diesel engine, V6, with 100 gallons of fuel, bright finish tank on both sides, 50 gallons for a total of 100 gallons of fuel. Engine exhaust system up underneath with our air tanks, air dryer, block heater, DEF, everything appropriately positioned so that you can make the most effective use of your run. On the inside, we feature the air ride driver's seat with a high back, fixed position passenger seat. And again, as before, a 26 inch sleeper berth with the wraparound curtains. On the dash, we have cruise control, phone control, right on the steering column, visibility. You have the West Coast mirrors on both sides, convex mirrors on the cab hood for best visibility, making sure you have the least amount of blind spots. The informational display is controlled by the multi-input lever to the right of the steering column. Air conditioning control, economy and power modes for the automatic transmission, engine exhaust brake, the manual regeneration for the engine exhaust system to make sure you get the most out of your DPF filter. This here is our camera, our backup camera. With uh, I'll show you on the outside where that is positioned. The two drink holders on the side, ashtray, plug for additional USB ports are found on the radio and right below where our backup camera is. The truck features the power windows uh, they are heated on this particular model. Again, if you're going anywhere to travel, you want to make sure that you have that opportunity to uh, see the best you can. On the back, again, is the 26-foot tuck-away lift gate. Features steel components on the outside with an aluminum deck. It's a PAL finger, 3,000-pound model. On the interior, it is two rows of E-Track, slat line. We have the wood scuff plate, front angle protector, and the back threshold plate leads me to believe that we absolutely have the forklift package. On the interior, we have two 12-inch LED lamps positioned past the opening of the rear door for best visibility uh, during your work day. Let me go ahead and close this down. Excellent. Take a look at our operation. We have Zerk fittings for lubrication on the PAL finger gate inside the cabin. The switch here allows power to flow through into the lift gate at the rear. Again, the PAL finger 3,000 pound lift gate on the side. It is a power down, not gravity down. And the platform itself is a standard platform with the ramp at the front. Again, very lightweight to pull down. You can tell that it's got support uh, on the back side for as it lays flat to the ground. We're using our ramp tensioner. And again, as it folds down, you have that there. Taking it right up to the top of the world. The vision of this here is so that you can see, so that you can see for the most part that, uh, so that you can see that the gate came up darn well level the entire travel from the front to the back. Again, good strength and componentry allows for a long lasting operation. It does have the anti-skid surface uh, as well. Tires on the truck are the Continental. Low profile, 22 and a half. Good traction on the back. On the front, the steer tire is the Continental HSR. Again, low profile, 275 ADR tire. 50 gallons tank, diesel emission system, 26 foot long, 103 inches tall, 102 inches wide. Plenty of volume of operational space for your business day. 
This is Mike Olden. I'm on the inside of the Extended Cab MV International uh, Expediter Truck, as I'll phrase it, with the uh, curtain and the sleeper berth uh, behind the cab. The full environment look on the inside once we get the curtain up and uh, in place. And uh, we'll go ahead and uh, take it down and reinstall it. So, again, put one hook on the driver's side glass spring, the other hook on the passenger side, and then we're going to go around the front to make it to where you can cross over to shed the uh, light out of your view. And then from there, we're going to use the back of the sun visor to affix and push forward to draw it tight to where you have shed the light from the driver's side, repeating the process on the passenger side. Again, sun visor down, have it wrapped, and then pressing forward. We take it to where we're harvesting the most space on the interior. And this is our front. Make sure our Velcro is in the right position to again black that light out. On the back, coming to the driver, uh, passenger side, wrapping around it, basically draws up some additional space. Hooking in, hooking in, coming to the back S hook. Again, there is uh, the expanded space here. There we are. Again, this is a one-handed example, so my apologies for the movement of the camera. And now we have that in position. So now we have that in position. We come into the middle, take it over the coat hook. Very simple clasp there. Putting on the hook. And then last but not least, with our S hook, we have the pocket on the back side. So there you have it. Again, yeah, my name is Mike Golden. I look forward to work with you on your next regional truck where you might need to have a sleeper berth. Reach me at 423-618-3323. Shoot me an email, molden at lee-smith.com. Thank you. Make it a great day.